Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Harley Rogers and in today's video I've done this get ready with me birthday chit chatty glam video. Um, I'm just showing you what I did on my actual birthday. Today is not my birthday, sadly. It's been and gone, but I wanted to film for you. And as you can see, I have a different background now. Um, I got a ring light for my birthday, like a legit ring light. So if you could see the rings in my eyes, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, I'm very grateful for that. And I'm just gonna be chatting to you about my birthday and about when I went to Paris. Um, so just, if you wanna keep watching, then keep watching. And I really hope you enjoy. So see you in the video. So excuse the tape already on my eye. Um, that is for the eyeshadow look. And obviously I've got these cute little Minnie Mouse headband that I got in Paris, in Disneyland Paris. Um, if you wanna see my photos on Instagram, my Instagram is linked down below. I got quite a few nice photos in Paris. Um, if you wanna check them out, then just letting you know. Um, so we can begin. Obviously, like I said, the tail of my face is here so we can create this slick line. As you can see, I've already done this eye just so I can just focus on this eye for the video. So we're gonna go in with the Morphe 35, no, 39 A palette. And we're gonna be taking this dark shade right here. And with a small detailed pencil brush, we're gonna pack that onto the brush and then pack it onto the lid. Let me zoom you in actually. Next going in with the Morphe 35 O palette, so I see right here. Sorry the lids come off. <laughs> So I have to leave it like this. And taking a Urban Decay fluffy brush. This is the RCP70W. And dipping into this orange shade in the top right corner. We're gonna pack that onto the brush. And then we are going to blend it through. It's gonna take a while this step. I'm gonna cut most of it out because it does just take so long. But You gotta do what you gotta do. And then going in with my Morphe 35B palette and with a very small detailed fluffy brush right here. This is the 5116 called like Mange or something. I got them on eBay. But there's a really good brush. Um, and we're just going to dip into this yellow shade, the very bottom left colour and going to apply this on top of that orange that we applied before. with a big fluffy brush I'm going to take some of the white shade from the same Morphe 35B palette and just run this across my brow bone also blending through the yellow so then with a flat shader brush with some concealer on the brush we're going to cut the crease and we're just going to pack this all over the crease the top of it let the concealer transfer. It's going to be creating this sort of sunset shape basically. So now that the crease is cut, now what we're going to do is we're going to take all the same shades. So we're going to start with the, the dark brown, the orange and then the yellow and we're going to go back through onto the crease. So that's the eyeshadow done for now, which means we do the satisfying bit of taking off the tape. And we have some fallout, great. I think what we can do is try and take off 
the excess of the tape. And it works like a dream. Then taking the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter in the shade Midnight Cowboy, um, I'm going to apply this on the inner corner, well, the inner cut, what's the word for it, inner crease of my lid. And as you can see on this eye, it looks really messy and it really just fucked up because my eyes are so hooded. So it is just really difficult to try and get it to to look good, but we're gonna try. We're gonna try our best. Okay, so that eye went better, as you can see, because I put less on, but it doesn't matter, because it went well on my birthday, so, and it's not my birthday anymore. <laughs> Next thing I'm going to do off camera is just apply some eyeliner and mascara and some false lashes. I'll show you the lashes. It's just these big fluffy beautiful lashes. They're just from eBay um, and they work like a dream. I love them so much and they're so so cheap. So I'll be right back and then we can carry on with the face. Or we can start the face because we haven't done anything to the face yet. <laughs> So I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation in the shade 115. I'm just taking some on the back of my hand and then a few dabs on my face. And then with a beauty blender, just applying this all over the skin. Sorry, that's my zip on my jumper <laughs> that keeps tapping. So while I'm doing this, I can tell you what I did for my birthday. Um, so I celebrated my birthday a day before because on my actual birthday, I was going to a wedding. Well, a wedding, wedding party bit, like not the actual ceremony, but like the, the celebration afterwards. Um, So I celebrated the day before, my stepdad cooked up a delicious chicken stir fry, which I requested because my stepdad's Chinese and he makes like the best Chinese food ever. Um, and it's too much money to go out and eat and like my mum's gluten free because she feels ill if she eats gluten. Um, so it's easier to just stay home and eat. Otherwise all she can eat is like a salad, so my stepdad makes like gluten-free noodles for her. Um, so yeah, I did all my presents the day before. I got this ring light, obviously, as I said. Um, and it was just a really nice time. I had my family over and it was a nice day. And um, so then the next day, I went to the wedding party, got pretty drunk, didn't go to bed till the early hours of the morning. So it was very, very messy. And then the next day I had to go to Paris and sit in a car for seven hours, which was not fun. I was still drunk in the car and then I sobered up and I felt awful. So whatever's left on the back of my hand, I just like to rub it down my neck and use the beauty blender to rub it down my neck down my neck <laughs> oh I love doing that when I'm on my own I do that too and I'm like oh wow you're so sad Harley so that's the foundation done Next we can move on to concealer, which is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Fair. And we're just going to apply some under the eye area. I really don't use a lot of concealer these days because you get quite a lot in this tube. So 
So I feel like a little goes a long way with this stuff. So I don't bother using too much. So yeah, then I went to Paris the next day. Um, and we saw our Canadian family. Which is very, very nice. See, look, do you see what I mean? Like, I've hardly put any concealer on. Oh, I just knocked my ring, ring light. Hardly put any concealer on and it's like gone everywhere. So it's why it's best to not put too much on. So I saw my family in the evening, went up this like big building, this like sort of tower. It wasn't the Eiffel Tower by the way. <laughs> Imagine if I was sat there like, yeah, I went up a tower. I don't know what it was called. Um, <laughs> It was like a big building and then the second day we went to Euro Disney well Disneyland Paris which was such a good day where I obviously got these well this headband with Minnie Mouse ears and they do a good job at holding up my hair now when I do my makeup so they came became very useful they were 15 euros though but to be fair I actually thought they'd be more I'm then just going to powder my face using the collection pressed powder in the shade Translucent 03. So yeah, then I went to Disneyland Paris, which was such an amazing day. We were out for like 12 hours though, which was an absolute killer of a day. My like back and legs and like everything was aching so badly, but I managed to do it and I slept like a baby when I got back. And the next day, me and my stepdad woke up both feeling very, very sick. Like, a sickness bug had been brought upon us. And it wasn't good, if you can imagine. Um, but we both just took some Imodium and like dragged ourselves out the next day. Well, it was a much more chilled day that day, so we just walked around. Um, went to the Arc de Triomphe. I think that's what we did on that day. And um, just made dinner at home, which was very nice. My family member from Canada made a lovely like pasta pesto chicken. I think it had bacon in it too. With like this delicious sauce and it was to die for. Like it was so, so good. Um, so that was nice and then the next day I woke up feeling even worse and I was being sick um, so uh, my family went up to the Eiffel Tower and I've missed it sadly but I've seen it before so that wasn't too bad I've, I've seen it before on a school trip so I didn't miss out too much they just went up it which I missed out on but my mum said like Harley would have hated it like it was so, up so many stairs and I think I probably would have been sick if I went so it was kind of a good thing that I didn't go. Um, but then I managed to, so I just slept for like the whole day, but then I went out in the evening and we just had a little, a little walk around and went to the Louvre. My stepdad stayed home though, because he was feeling really sick because he went out that day and I felt better because I stayed in bed. Um, so yeah. So next going back to eyeshadow, um, I'm going to be taking just the dark brown shade and then the orange shade and then the yellow shade again just as I did before under my under eye area. I'm just going to apply some mascara to my bottom lashes. And then to finish the eyes off in my inner corner, I'm taking my LA Girl Strobe Light Strobing Powder in the shade 110 and with a very small, small, <laughs> small detailed brush, I'm going to just pack it on my inner corner. So next for bronzer or contour, sorry, this is going to be contour and bronzer. 
I'm taking the Maybelline New York City Bronzer and with a flat, slightly angled brush, I'm just going to chisel out my cheekbones, contour my forehead and jawline and my nose. So yeah, anyway, whatever I did next. Um, on the first day, I feel like I've missed a day. Have I missed a day? Nah. Oh, on the Tuesday, we also went shopping down the Champs Elysees. How posh does I, does I sound? Do I sound? And I got this. I got this long, well, this cropped, can't see it properly, this cropped jumper with like long sleeves. I've just rolled the sleeves up because it's hot in here. Um, in front of this light. <laughs> um, so yeah, I bought that. I didn't really see anything else I liked. I went to Sephora. But um, it was just way too busy in there and like there was just like there was nothing there really. Um, it was most mostly just like makeup stalls where people can get their makeup done. So I was quite disappointed in that. Like, they had a Tarte store and I was like oh my god I can buy something from Tarte. But then um, nope. <laughs> Think again. It was just a makeup stall where people can get their faces done. So I was like oh fucking hell. Just great. And then just gonna contour my nose very slightly. If you hear cracking all the time, this is the chair that I'm sat on. I desperately need a new chair, but um, I can't really afford one. So <laughs> I've just sat on a chair that's like gonna crack and break me probably at some point during the video. So yeah, just very, I say very slightly, but I put lots on my nose now. Contour my nose. And that is quite a bit. So we're going to blend it in a bit. Like that. So it looks a bit more realistic. And then bronzer, I'm just going to go in with the same bronzer, but just with a big old fluffy brush. And then just bronze my jawline and my forehead and then finally well i'm just gonna do some blush quickly i'm taking the revolution blush palette and i'm gonna take this corally pink shade right here and apply this onto my cheeks i love adding blush now i did it in a video recently and i forgot how much i love to add blush just adds a flush of colour to your face and I think it looks really really cute so highlighter I'm taking see the hear the crack again yeah that's my chair um, <laughs> I'm taking the LA girl strobe like strobing powder but in this the shade this time it's in the shade 90 and I've seriously seriously hit pan so if anyone wants to donate one to me that would be great that'd be much appreciated because I have none left I need to buy a new one, but it's just money, isn't it? And it's just like, <laughs> so expensive. Um, so yeah, I think that's mostly everything I did, but then on the last day, we went to the catacombs, which was always cool. I've been there before anyway. Um, and it was a fun time. I mean, obviously it's not a fun place to go. It's, it's an interesting place to go to. Um, but it's obviously lots of buried dead bodies um i don't sound very respectful right now but i'm trying to sound respectful <laughs> it's a cool place to go to and it's very interesting um very educational and but it's yeah it's 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 a cool place to go to so if you ever go to paris go to the catacombs it's not too much money either to uh book a ticket just got to get there really early because otherwise the queue takes ages i mean we had to wait for about two hours and we got there in, early in the morning so just a warning So I've just highlighted, I mean look at that glow of the highlighter, I need to buy a new one so badly. But look at it, it's just gorgeous. 
so gorgeous. And then finally for lips, I'm taking my Avon lipstick in the shade Marvelous Mocha. I'm running out, my friend gave it to me and I'm like nearly at the bottom. And I need a new one because it's such a nice color. It's like a perfect, perfect nude. I'm just gonna have to buy a new one if I can afford it. And we're just gonna do our lips. So that's it for today's video. I really, really hope you enjoyed this like chatty birthday glam get ready with me um, sort of thing. Um, I hope you enjoyed hearing my stories about my birthday and about Paris. Um, let me know if you've been to Paris or if you're planning to go to Paris. Um, and I can give you some advice on places to go. Um, and just, yeah, just thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.